So the last of the jump races then is the three mile chase and it's a 0 to 150 and at the top we've got time to shine for Craig Allen. Wouldn't it be good Leon Van Rensburg, Dawn Ranger, David Robertson, Crackle, Alex Cherry, Amazing Grace, Joshua Sutherland, Insatiable Forest, Craig Allen, Better Bomb Irish, David Robertson, War Pig, Graham Clutterbuck, Deep Dale, Darren Thompson, Green Tea, David Hooley, Changing Rhythm, Leon Van Rensburg, Penny Arcade, Alex Cherry, Memphis, David Hooley, and Dant Share for Connor Liggett, Great Balls of Fire, Derek Hinton, General Idea, John Morgan, Lawn Tennis, Graham Clutterbuck, A Caster Malbis, Darren Thompson, Fires at Midnight, Martin Lidham, Fresno Mennington, Vinnie Gerard, Armageddon, Martin Lidham, and the joke was on me, and Derek Hinton. So 22. Rain continues to tumble down as they wait patiently for the flag to be raised, and away they go. And this short run to the first fence. And they're all safely to the other side of it, they've got 19 more to take. And it's going to be another John Morgan flashy grey, I think, in the lead. General idea. He didn't quite make it last time. I think he fell in the first race as they get over number two. It makes it difficult to handicap the ones that fall. And it's a Caster Malbis who's in the lead. And is there something gone there? No, no. They've got just a little blip in the graphic, I think, as they get to the first of the ditches, which they're all safely over as well. With a Caster Malbis and General idea clear. Of Deep Dale and Amazing Grace, and then fires at midnight as they get over number four, which they're all safely over. A Castor Malbus in the lead for Darren Thompson. Had a good day so far. General idea for John Morgan second, and then another Darren Thompson Deep Dale down the inside. Does that mean Darren Thompson's a Preston North End fan? Oh, they play Deep Dale. I think they do. Anyway, A Castor Malbus is the leader. One general idea second. Deep Dale third, fires at midnight is fourth, and then Lawn Tennis. Then comes Amazing Grace and Penny Arcade as they come down to number five. So they will stream over nicely. You can see towards the back, changing rhythm. Or oh, Leon Van Rensburg at the back of the pack. It was a short run to the sixth. And we'll safely over the sixth as well. I think it's a, a short run to the seventh, which is another ditch. And over that one, they all go out again. They all jump in that one nicely with eight cast Oh no, and Dante Shear was a was a four or out of shot, so Andante Shear has gone, and A Castor Malbus continues to lead to General Idea second, and then Lawn Tennis third, Deep Bell fourth, and Penny Arcade next, then Amazing Grace. And fires at midnight, Crackle is after that one. And a bit of a gap to the joke was on me, and time to shine as they make their way towards. The next, they're inside the final two miles now, and over that one they all go. All safely over, including the loose horse at the back. With a Castor Malbus in the lead, then clear by four again now. To the grey general idea, second, and then deep down third. And they're going to come up now and take the fence that'll be the last on the next circuit. And over that one they all go. We'll see them safely over this one. Past the, the crowd who enjoyed it. Good days racing so far. Still one more to come after this one, the long distance flat race, but they come past the winning post then with a complete circuit to go in the three mile handicap chase. And it's A Castor Malvis who's in the lead. General Idea is second and Deepdale is third. Then Amazing Grace is four and fires at midnight is five. Lawn Tennis is six and Penny Arcade is seven and Crackle is eight. And then Time to Shine nine and Great Balls of Fire ten and then Green Tea. And then Better Bob Morris and Dawn Ranger and Insatiable Forest and Wouldn't It Be Good and Armageddon. And then the joke was on me Memphis changing rhythm, War Pig. And finally Fresno Mellington bringing up the rear then as they make their way out into the country for the final time and a Castor Malvis continues to lead. Drop that one slowly though with a general idea making ground and the others are four at the back there. Green T's gone so Green T's the second one to depart the race. Uh, battle up for David Hooley there then as a Castor Malvis continues to lead from general idea just a length back now in second. Bit of a slow jump there by Deep now. Fires at midnight's jump through into third. Then comes Long Tennis and Amazing Grace. Crackle is 
getting closer along with stable mate Penny Arcade as they get over that ditch and again the leader was a little bit ponderous that's it and is now being pressed on the outside by a general idea gap of two lengths then to Amazing Grace as they come to this plane one again the grey jumps it better and landed in the lead it's general idea then who's now gone on by about half a length to a Castor Malbus in second then comes Lawn Tennis in third and Amazing Grace is four and then comes Fires at Midnight and Deep Down and Penny Arcade and then Crackle Time to Shine is getting closer then comes Better Bob Irish after that one is Armageddon then wouldn't it be good and Dawn Ranger and they're racing down towards the business end of the race now and A Castor Malbus has regained the lead on the flat it's A Castor Malbus being pushed into a two length lead coming down towards this plane fence he's losing it in the jumping usually but he jumped that one much better than he jumped the few before and it's A Castor Malbus two lengths clear of General Idea who's over it in second then comes Amazing Grace and Lawn Tennis and Fires at Midnight and Penny Arcade crackled his next is the final ditch over it they go again the leader was slow and General Idea and Lawn Tennis now come through to challenge A Castor Malbus Fires at Midnight on the near side then the two greys Lawn Tennis General Idea crackled Amazing Grace Deepdale still there as well A Castor Malbus is trying to repel Raiders. He's running a big race from the front. If his jumping was up to scratch, he'd be ten lengths clear. But it's A Castor Malbus who's three lengths clear of Fires at Midnight in second. Then comes Amazing Grace in third. Lawn Tennis is fourth. Deep down is next. Then Penny Arcade. General Ideas in a flat spot. But it's still A Castor Malbus. It's going to come down to the jumping surely over the second last. A Castor Malbus jumped that one really well. Amazing Grace over in second. Lawn Tennis third. Fires at Midnight hit the wall. Trying to run on his Penny Arcade. General Ideas trying to get back into it. They're coming down towards the final fence and A Castor Malbus despite a bit of an iffy round of jumping is four lengths clear coming towards this final fence he gets into it gets over it slowly he's being chased by Lawn Tennis Lawn Tennis trying to serve up an ace up the centre of the track A Castor Malbus needs the post here comes Lawn Tennis and Lawn Tennis match point ground clutter up Lawn Tennis raises up towards the line and takes it pretty comfortably general ideas running on and still second from A Castor Malbus amazing grace is back in fourth then comes Penny Arcade and better by Irish and deep down and time to shine under a big weight and great balls of fire was last and a cast of Malvis led everywhere but on the line really I wonder if it would have been different if it had been a better round of jumping from that a cast of Malvis but lawn tennis looks like it's a good one for Graham Clutterbug as he serves up an ace in the penultimate race and Lawn Tennis is the winner for Graham Clutterbuck. General Idea, John Morgan second, A Castor Mavis, Darren Thompson third. All three of them from out of the weights. Amazing Grace for Joshua Sutherland was fourth. And Penny Arcade for Alex Cherry was fifth.